All right, three. Again. Do you want to come here? I'm going to just shut out the lens is not Don't yourself. look at yourself. Okay. Look at what? Don't look at the, the lens. The lens, not, not a picture. Okay, no, yeah. it's, it's the big lens, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or it's even that indefinitely. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Hi everyone! Hello! What do we have here? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Finally the interview with my mom. This has been requested probably more than any other video for as long as we've had the channel. We were going to do it like a year ago and then the pandemic hit and we haven't been together. Yep. So it's time. Hannah and I pour our heart and souls into making videos and we feel really good about them and then we go down to the comments and every time it more lives. <laughs> Put more Liz in the videos. Liz is the best. <laughs> we love Liz. <laughs> so to everyone that doesn't know, this is Hannah's mom, mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> and she's going to sit down with us today to answer some questions that we came up with that we thought would be interesting. Some, some that we, you know, invented and some that we've seen asked repeatedly. First question, Liz. Uh-oh. Who do you like more, me or Hannah? <laughs> Oh, I like Chloe. Oh, <laughs> very smart. I think you have to say me, though. I'm her daughter. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to our January Hello Fresh video. Mm -hmm. They say you should never cook with a black eye, but I am going to test that theory. No one has ever said that, Shane. Today, we are going to be making. Chicken over garlic parmesan spaghetti with Tuscan roasted tomatoes and Philadelphia cream cheese. Philadelphia, where I'm from. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember reading the recipe card. I'm gonna have to just use my one good eye. You know. Step one, adjust the rack to the middle position and preheat the oven to 400 degrees. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. The average trip to the grocery store takes 41 minutes. With HelloFresh, you can skip those trips and get everything you need to make chef-curated meals delivered to your door. And HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep for you and less wasted food. You can add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order, throw in extra proteins, or add in yummy meal compliments like HelloFresh's best-selling garlic bread. HelloFresh donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019, and this year is stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. Every time we do a Hello Fresh video, we always show Hannah's plate before we eat it. Tonight, we're showing my plate. I'm gonna ogle at my delicious meal. Isn't it ogle? Ogle, ogle. I'm mm. gonna look at it with delight while Hannah tells you about the offer. Go to HelloFresh.com and use our code 10 Squirmy and Grubs to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use our code 10 Squirmy and Grubs to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Thank you. All right, time to eat. All right, here we go. Um, another thing, Liz and Hannah, obviously, are Chloe's favorite people on earth. Like, <laughs> if you think that she's obsessed with Hannah, you should see how excited she gets whenever Liz is in the room. So mm -hmm. I have a feeling that Chloe's going to join us. Yeah, well, she's going to be here the whole time. She's like, everyone I love is together. Right <laughs> here, and I'm in the middle. <laughs> this is how she wants it to be all the time. <laughs> Um, so we have a smattering of serious and not so serious questions. Okay. First one is serious. People often want to know what your perception of me was when you found out that Hannah was talking to someone and dating uh, someone that had a disability. Can you talk about like your what you remember from those early days of our? Yeah, that was five years ago. Wow. Um, well, the, the, my biggest concern was not anything to do with your disability. My biggest concern was that she was talking to someone on the internet <laughs> and I pictured somebody at the other end being old and with bald a, and, and you know, with a machete. With a machete. <laughs> and it turned out to be me. <laughs> How lucky. So when... When I first met you, it was it was through Skype, and 
all I really meant was your head. <laughs> you know, like basically. That's nice to me, so. <laughs> and, and, and that's all I ever saw. And so I really got to know you without seeing the, the rest yeah. of everything. True. Um, so it really, it, it didn't factor in at all. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure there were things that went through my mind at the time, you know, like how difficult will things be? How right. hard will life be? How, you know, worried, worried yeah. as a mother um, for both of you really. Yeah. But it really was not like in the forefront of my mind. It yeah. was really, um, you know, who is this person that she's conversing <laughs> with endlessly over the internet? <laughs> I'm and and, and, and it was endless. Yeah, it was endless. <laughs> and every time I walked by her room, I could hear a um, man, a, a man's <laughs> voice. And I pictured before I actually saw you, I pictured somebody that's going to hurt my daughter. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And so that that was my biggest concern. And yeah. and then once I got to know you, and and we did that for a while, and then we actually started texting together. Oh yeah, we became um, besties. We became besties. <laughs> Um, <laughs> much to have his chagrin. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so when she, I, I do remember saying at one point, it was still early on that, um, I said to Hannah, you know, well, as long as you're not going to fly out there, I'm okay with this. Long distance is okay. I can yeah. handle long distance. And well. then she came in and announced, you know, I'm, I'm flying to Pennsylvania. And that was like another, uh -huh. <laughs> aha moment like okay well let's do a little due diligence here and, and make sure that this is okay and okay with the parents and i think i spoke with your parents at the time yeah i think we connected, um, we connected yep, yep yeah. we spoke together and so um and and by then i i mean i liked you and you know i i i i didn't have any concerns and i knew that you loved my daughter like that was and that was only a few weeks in. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't that quick, but yeah, it was, it was early on. And I, and I knew that you had her um, her best interests in, in, in mind, and, and you captured her heart, and she captured yours, and so, you know, everything else was just gravy. And, wow. Well, we need to just end the interview there. That was beautiful. <laughs> so wonderful. I feel really good about myself. <laughs> I'm feeling... <laughs> Don't ask any <laughs> Don't questions, questions then. <laughs> All right, a silly one. What is your favorite type of wine? Oh, Chardonnay. I already knew that answer. I love buttery Chardonnay. Buttery Chardonnay. When I came to visit for the mm -hmm. first time, yep. Liz offered me a buttery Chardonnay. And I was, I was a beer drinker. Yep. I was very skeptical. I'd never really had wine. And I have to say, you opened my eyes <laughs> to a beautiful new world, a buttery new world. Yep, and every place we travel, we look for buttery Chardonnays. Yeah. Much to Hannah's chagrin. <laughs> yes. I'm not really part of this at all. No, <laughs> you're I not. can excuse myself if you'd like. Actually, yeah, I mean, this is just be me and Liz if you want. <laughs> all right, next question. Since you are my mom, we might want to put some questions about me into this interview. <laughs> I can leave now. If you yeah, know. you can leave. What is a happy memory from my childhood that you have? Oh, my Lord. I have so many happy memories. That's a good thing. <laughs> oh, it's, I mean, it's really nothing but happy memories. We, we, we were blessed with a good life. And um, I mean, everything we, we did together. And, and um, I guess people don't know this, but I, I have three children. Um, and they're spaced very far apart, one a decade. Um, I had one in the 70s, <laughs> one in the 80s, one in the 80s <laughs> and one in the 90s. And so Hannah's my baby. Um, and each of my children, I felt as though I raised them almost as only children. I didn't have, you know, two or three kids running around and, and, and be frazzled by that. I was able to focus on each one individually. And so when Hannah came along, I was much older, much wiser. Um, and, a, and a much more chill, the perfect mother, <laughs> parent at that really point. <laughs> I was. I had learned a lot. Um, and so it was really, um, it was just joyful. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think, I mean, I hate to go back to swimming, but, uh, you know, swimming is a big, big part of Hannah's life and, and my life as a swim mom. And that's something we did together. 
mm-hmm. um, for years and years and years, 18 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, never missed a swim meet. Never Until missed a swim meet. One in college. I, I you were not, late to. I did not miss it. I was late. That was, you missed that was, event. was that my fault? The no, 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 it wasn't your uh, fault. No. I that <laughs> but you didn't take it. It's okay. It was Shane's fault, <laughs> actually. So you know, I'm, I'm fine. I'm was, good. I think it's before you moved it may to have. Minnesota. I just remember the one swim meet that Liz and I drove to. And then the elevator the wasn't elevator. working. Yeah. And we were like, I'm like, I'm going to make Liz miss a swim meet. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I would have left you downstairs in the hallway and got up to the swim meet. I know. Meet. No, I know. No, no doubt. No doubt. But, um, so that, that was our, that was a big part of our lives and, um, the whole swim community and, and going to swim meets and away meets and, and staying in hotels and, um, shaving before meat and you know all that stuff. Yeah, people who aren't swimmers like, are not going to understand. I'm feeling a little off. <laughs> not shaving, like shaving, hand hand shaving. Hand shaving. <laughs> We'd have like shaving parties where like yeah. me and my you know ten year old friends would shave our arms and legs for a race. It's just the thing. Sounds yeah. like a party. <laughs> so it's really weird. <laughs> so and those are fun memories. Yeah. Traveling, we did an awful lot of traveling. I mm-hmm. mean, all of those are fantastic memories. I I, I absolutely cannot. Pick a memory. <laughs> All right, next question. Can you believe that your daughter is a famous YouTuber? I cannot. <laughs> Why? I, um, well, because you refuse to speak to anyone. <laughs> uh, the fact that you speak to thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people, I'm, um, I mean, that. That alone, you won't even answer a phone call. Uh, from you. <laughs> from me. No, she'll answer my phone call. Uh, but know. the rest of the family knows. Yeah. She, won't, she won't pick up. Um, so sorry it. about that. She will pick up. Um, she just, it, you're such an introvert. I yeah. mean, um, it's, I can't believe that you can do this. I mean, I'm really nervous and I can't, I don't know where to look or what tell. to do. You're doing one yeah, it's, it's, it's very, it's very strange and awkward. <laughs> and I can't believe you do this and, and, and do it successfully. And for a living, that's, that's a whole other story. I can't believe that you can, um, that we're doing a good job. Yeah, we're actually doing well. <laughs> that you can do so well with it and, and, um, and, Come across so nicely on the camera. I mean, wow! Because wow. she's not That's nice. A In real life, she's not nice, but <laughs> on camera, it comes off. It's a huge surprise. <laughs> That's funny. We also haven't addressed that we're wearing the same t-shirt. Oh uh, yeah, this is not like this is an everyday show. This isn't like for the video. No, we twin. Anna and I twin. Most days, yeah. Well, we, I'm not wearing leggings today. That's really so. I ruined it. You did. But most okay. days we both wear the exact same thing accidentally. It tells you wear that sweatshirt. Anyway. Yeah, it's usually this and a pair of leggings. But we came down today, and I told her to take it off because I put it on first. But then I was cold outside, so I put it back, put it back on, on. And then we sat down. We were going to address it, and we just never did. Yeah. Blue Nose Coffee. For those of you that don't know is the coffee shop owned by Hannah's family. Yes. You are looking at one of the owners of Blue Nose Coffee. True. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> you may have seen the other day, we did a special Spermy and Drugs gift box for mm-hmm. uh, Blue Nose Coffee, mm-hmm. and those sold out instantly. Blue Nose has been working hard, and they now have even more in stock. They're gonna go fast, but we'll put a link below for you to grab one. Mm-hmm. Okay, next question. I kind of know the answer to this one because we've talked about it together and have similar experiences, but what was your view of accessibility before meeting Shane and has it changed? Yes. <laughs> a leading question. <laughs> and has it changed? Yes. <laughs> uh, my view of accessibility prior to this, and I really didn't know anyone in a wheelchair before yeah. Shane. Um, I thought that the um, the Disabilities Act had evened the playing field, yeah. and that everybody everything was accessible. And if it wasn't, it instantly had to be switched and and changed and yeah. made accessible yeah. on the spot. Um, I think a lot of people feel that. Yeah, way. I mean, it, it, you know, we kind of washed our hands of it, like, okay, you know, it passed it's and, and it's yeah. done, and, and and it's successful, and everybody can go everywhere, and. <laughs> Shockingly, I found out that I, I I don't know what the percentage is. Eighty percent, ninety percent of things are not accessible. I mean, it's that's my mom's number. Step. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's a, a huge number. I mean, things that we want to do, that we try to do, that we. 
that we um, have to do. There were roadblocks everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people became major Liz fans when they saw you talking for hours on the yeah. phone yeah. with airlines when we could not find a flight to Poland that would allow my wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Right. And you were on the phone for 10 hours. Uh, you know? it, it was endless. It was endless. And, and even then it wasn't smooth. I yeah, mean, yeah. you know, even after those 10 hours of yeah. prepping everything and getting everything ready to go, uh, there are still roadblocks. And, and I mean, we've gotten stuck in airports because the plane's cargo door was too small for the chair, even though they booked our flight. And, <laughs> Uh, we've got bumps from planes, and or the bus in LA, or the from Disney. The, yeah, the, the the one way to get to our hotel from the oh. airport, the, the first bus that came, um, the ramp was broken. <laughs> okay, sorry, the ramp is broken. Three hour wait. Three, uh, yeah, and and the next bus that came, a ramp wouldn't open. Again, sorry, ramp doesn't open. Like we have videos of you talking <laughs> yeah. to the driver and him being like, well. And and that's that's the attitude. Like you know, well, it's broken. You know, things break. Okay, well. <laughs> well, then change the airport. Yeah, we can't get anywhere. So I mean, I had no idea, and it really ruffles my feathers yeah. to find out that these things happen, and that they that that there's something that we that you physically are able to do. Right to experience uh -huh. and yet you can't yeah. because of a door size or a yeah. you know a, 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 a three steps mm -hmm. i mean just anything so yeah. um infuriating <laughs> I, I, I don't get me started <laughs> this might need to be a new series <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring up an inaccessibility in the uh, world to my mom and have her react to it on and on and on and on, and on. on. <laughs> How do you feel about this photo of a staircase? <laughs> <laughs> I've taken photos of staircases like that. <laughs> All right, very special question. How many Instagram followers are you currently at? Because <laughs> I know you keep track. <laughs> we get an update like once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I, I know it's somewhere around 3,400, but I don't wow. know where I'm at. That's so good. Yeah, I know. And, and that is amazing because <laughs> prior to all of this, I think I had seven. Yeah. Um, and they were all immediate family members. Oh, blue nuts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, it's it's been shocking. And and people have really I know they get they get a lot of grief and a lot of negative comments and a lot of trolls and a lot and don't start me on that either. Oh yeah, we got well, oh geez. <laughs> um, but I am lucky enough to get Almost all positive comments. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's, Rub it in our face. Isn't that lovely? No, I mean, no, people, people, yeah. people are nicer to me than they are to you. They really are. And, yeah. and they and they have, lots of people have comments. It's not just they, they like it and they look at it, but they actually comment and, and say things about how, you know, this was lovely or that was this, or, or they have questions, you know, where did you get this? Or how did you... How did you make your your um, poncho, cool. your coat? Yeah. You yeah. know, think, I mean, it's 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 a back and forth, and I really feel as though they're real followers, as opposed to you know a million out there yeah. and you know fifty percent of them being really mean and nasty. <laughs> so, so you're saying that you have a higher quality, we have a higher yeah, quantity. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I see your point. All right, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Let's let's compare the statistics of positive to negative. <laughs> it's true. So if you would like to join the high quality follower group of Liz, we'll put her Instagram uh, right below. Nice people only. Yes, only nice please, people. high quality. If you're mean, you get blocked. Liz has an iron fist. <laughs> I've taught her how to block. She's I, not afraid to use it. I've only done it twice. I have, I've done it twice. <laughs> and both times it was really, really nasty, mean, evil people. <laughs> Was it satisfying to block them? No, I, it was. Oh. It, I mean, it was. It was. It was good. I never saw it again. But yeah. um, it was after having so many positive comments sure. to come across something that was so mean mm -hmm. and mean spirited um, about you two. My, yeah, I mean, you're, you know, you're dear yeah. to my heart, and it 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 broke my heart. That was the first time that happened, and, and then it happened again a second time way later. And and but those are the only two, and and yeah. everything else has really been positive. Yeah. I have to say. So awesome. only good comments, please. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> please and thank you. Just so you know, everyone, we didn't tell my mom the questions before this video, and we cannot believe she's I, just 
we're not having to edit this at all. Ed and I will make a video where we know what we're talking about, <laughs> and we'll sit there and go. What do we say? Uh, mm, oh no, wait, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, we have to edit the crap out of it. We can pretty much do this unedited because Liz has been eloquent as hell. Well, my mom was afraid to do this live. She would oh, only yeah. sit down to do this if it was recorded. You know, but it turns out that. it's literally the same thing. <laughs> it could be live. Well, thank you. All right, next question. A bit of a heavy one. Uh -oh. What do you remember, or what was your experience of? What went through your mind when you heard the crash as you were standing in your kitchen a few oh weeks ago? <laughs> we're referring to when I fell off the ramp at Hannah's parents' house, and Liz, along with Hannah, saved my life. Yes. What was your experience, Liz? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it was. Horrible. It was probably the worst, the worst sound that I could ever have heard. I mean, me doing. Ah, help, 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 help. Well, no, it was before that. Uh, before that, it was yeah. a crash. That's why she came running. I mean, they, they leave my house the same way, the same door. We have one ramp, one door that Shane can come in and out of, and they do that every time they come over. And we always, you know, say goodbye, and then we're, we don't stand there because Shane goes out the back way, and then Hannah brings Chloe out the front way, and so we kind of disperse. And it's not really a big deal to stand there and watch or anything. But in my mind, I always hear Hannah say, do you want me to hold you? And Shane always says no, and, but she always holds him down the first ramp, which is just a one-step ramp. And then after that, she's still holding him on the ramp, and and he always says, "No, I'm good." And because he has already started going down the, the the ramp, he says he's good. And Hannah lets go. And this is this has been played over in my mind over and over again. And we always, I mean, we always worry a little bit, you know, it's yeah. a ramp. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's a it's a secure metal ramp that, yeah. that you know can support you. And we've done it a million times. We've done yeah. it so many many times. <laughs> So I was back at the sink in the kitchen washing something and in my mind I hear them leaving and they walk out the door and I hear the, the normal sounds and then I hear a crash. It sounded like a car crash. Like on the street when you can hear that sound and you know that some, a car has hit another yeah. car or a tree or something. And I don't know, I dropped what I had, I ran for the back door and by then Hannah was cradling Shane's head. <clears throat> I, I come upon his chair sideways on the ramp, <laughs> tilted against the house. Hannah's cradling his head, and I don't know what to do. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, I, I do, and it's dark out. It's pitch black out. I mean, all we have is the light from the hallway inside. So I, I ran down, I jumped on the ground under the chair. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to lift the chair, which weighs about 400 pounds. And I mean, I, I'm a pretty strong person. That's true. And I could not budge it. I yeah. just couldn't budge it. And so it really, I mean, it, it played out very well, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> but we kind of started working as a team. Like yeah. nobody was panicking, even Shane. I mean, Shane was yelling every once in a while. <laughs> No, no, when something hurt, and then yeah, we, yeah. Would, we would adjust and you yeah. would stop. And you were yeah. saying things like, you know, get the wheel up, try yeah. to get the wheel up. Yeah. We, were, we were working on it, we weren't screaming, we weren't yelling, we yeah. weren't hysterical. And we tried as hard as we could, Hannah and I, mm -hmm. to pull the chair back onto the ramp. And with Shane in the chair, we could not. Not that you weigh a ton. I know. I, but it made it. I think we yeah. also were being more gentle with yeah, the chair. Yeah, and there was less to grab because you're in yeah. it. You know? like we it grab yeah. Like, grab it there. Yeah, everybody tried to be careful that it didn't fall further. Right, yeah. exactly. Until we. <laughs> so we made the decision, or I think Shane made the decision, I don't know who made the decision, to, um, to, to come out of the chair. Yeah. And, and so I got under the chair and held it up so it wouldn't fall any further. And Hannah got Shane somehow, even though he was sideways, yeah. out of the chair. The only he, the ramp was blocked, half blocked going up, and she couldn't have carried him up that way anyway. Uh, the only place to put poor Shane was in the snow. Poor Shane. Um, yeah. And I mean... That was that was all we could do. Yeah. So so Shane ended up laying in the in, in the driveway on snow, <laughs> while Hannah and I 
heaved and heaved yep. and heaved the chair up over and over again until we finally got one more wheel on mm -hmm. onto the ramp. And then again, heaved and heaved until we got all four wheels onto the ramp. And then they told me to turn the chair on and I was trying to figure it. I mean, I've done it many, many times. I was trying to figure out how do I turn it on? I need to get it down. So we got the ramp, the chair down the ramp Wild. and Shane back into the chair. And afterwards, I mean, within seconds after that, and we knew he was safe. We, we, we didn't think anything was broken. We, you know, we checked everything. He was still talking to us. So yeah. you know, we were still all there. Conscious. Yeah. <laughs> And we all were shaking. Like yeah, it wasn't yeah. from the cold. It was, we were literally, we could not stop shaking. It yeah. was it, the adrenaline. Yeah. It was, so, it was scary. so, so scary. It yeah. was terrible. And then for days afterwards, and I finally have gotten, thanks a lot for bringing it up again. <laughs> I have finally gotten to the point where I don't think about it every single day. Uh -huh. yeah. But up until very recently, I would still think about it and relive it in my mind every single day. Yeah. And think about how all the outcomes could have been horrible. Oh, yeah. Like truly, truly horrible. Yeah. And this yeah. was the best that could have happened. Yeah. Um, True. And thank you. That's, that's because of you guys, you know, working it was, easy, fast. And we were sore the next yeah, day. Yeah, it was, it was a workout. We, we, had, we had our muscles. I mean, it was just, it was, yeah. it was as yeah. though we had worked out. It was only like heavy 10 weights. seconds, you know, yeah. of that. But boy, oh boy. Wild. Terrible. <laughs> All right, next question. What is your favorite travel memory from the three of us, a trip that we've gone on? Oh boy. We've gone on a lot of trips. Um, People think that you're using me <laughs> to travel. Would you like to address that rumor? Um, <laughs> well, the little bit of truth. No, no actually your lifestyle. I love it. I love I love your lifestyle True. and, and yeah. the things that you do for work and travel, yeah. and, and I love being a part of that. Um, but I, I think it actually, what I, one of my favorite memories um, was when we went to St. Louis. Oh uh, yeah, to see Jersey Boys. <laughs> We're off to New Orleans, and I've been New Orleans. Oh, St. Louis. <laughs> The dome in downtown St. Louis by the Arch is where the earliest settlers set up camp during the first ice age. This is where they lived and grew all of their crops that became known in America as vegetables and even beef. Which was a trip that you, which there was no other reason for going. Which no, is, we were just to hang out like, Liz was like, I'm going. And we were like, all right, we'll come along. Because that one act, the actor. Well, I know. It, yes. Uh, Mark Ballas. Yes. Um, <laughs> so we drove all the way there. Well, I had seen Jersey Boys in New York. I had seen it twice, actually. And absolutely loved it. And then I found out when we were back home in Minneapolis that they, that it was coming to St. Louis. And with the same cast, right? With the same cast that was in New York, which I absolutely loved. Um, and I said, you know, I would love to go. Are you guys interested? And, yeah. and they were on board immediately. And, and it, was, uh, it was a great road trip and a great time there. And the play was fantastic. Jersey Boys was great. But the... I think like the best moment for me was when it started pouring rain. <laughs> yeah, at the outdoor theater. It's an outdoor yeah. theater. It just <laughs> it was torrential rain, and uh -huh. now we can't really let Shane's chair get too wet. Yeah. I mean, it, it can it could withstand some rain, but not. It was pouring. it was pouring, yeah, it was crazy. and so we huddled. The three of us huddled together under capes, under umbrellas. Somebody gave us an umbrella. Yeah. Somebody else gave us an umbrella, and we just sat through it. We have pictures yeah. from it. It was we were like huddled down. Yeah, yeah. you have like made like that tent over me. Yeah, with your bodies. <laughs> it, it was just it, it was a good time. I mean, it was fun. It was funny. And, yeah, you know, nobody expected that. It was just a nice a nice trip. Hey, man. A lot. Yep. 
And then we got to see it again the next <laughs> night. Yeah. Because we had only seen half and then yep. they, they, they stopped it. it. Yeah. So that was nice. Yeah. That was we did not that's when we had a towel that night and literally dumped water out of our shoes. Yep. Yeah. Like like yep. a cup like full a of water. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. was wild. Yeah. All right, there's another heavy hitter. What level are you at in candy <laughs> It's been like two years. When did you began that when we went to Poland? So that was a year and a couple months ago. And that trip is when you discovered that Candy Crush. Well, you turned me on. Yes, you turned me on to Candy Crush. Yes, and I don't think, I mean, in that video, I remember you are like yelling, like you hear you down the hall, like, oh, yeah. oh man, I lost my level. And then like I come into the room with the camera and you were upset that I was filming you. A love addict. I know. Oh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> You're a big fan of that game. Are you coming on our walk? Yes. <laughs> Stop. Are you ready? Let's do it. I think she failed her level. Did you fail? Did you lose? You can't get past that level. How many times have you played oh, it? Stop. <laughs> but I don't, like, since then we haven't told anyone about how this has continued. It's become a bit of a lifestyle. <laughs> it hasn't slowed down since then. Like you haven't taken an off day, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, it, in my spare time, it's how I unwind. Yeah. You know, I enjoy it and, mm -hmm. and um, it's, I, I mean, it, it's not exactly high skill game. It's not something that I have to think about <laughs> or do, but I just, I enjoy it. Um, and what level are you at? I'm in the 4,000s. <laughs> <laughs> so when we like began in Poland, Liz was annoyed that we were like a hundred or two hundred levels above her. Uh -huh. By the end of that trip, she had rocketed past us, and now well, I'm, there's I'm no a chance. rather competitive person. So <laughs> you're, you're only playing yeah. against yourself. Everyone else has I dropped know. off. I deleted Candy Crush because there was no way I was ever going to be as good as Liz. That's true. <laughs> okay, and the final question: You have seen over the last few years of us doing this channel, that we get a lot of grief, as you said before. Yep. People say that our love is fake because I have a disability and Hannah doesn't. You've seen all the rumors. Yep. What is your message to those people and those accusations? And this is rated PG. I was, I was about to say you're gonna have to bleep that <laughs> out. <laughs> You know, put those stars and whatever you have to put into. Um, I just I, people get a life. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You're obviously a a, a, a loving couple. It's, it's mind boggling to me. I cannot imagine that if anybody follows you and and actually watches your videos, how they can think that this is fake is beyond me. I don't. I I truly don't understand it. And being a part of your lives, I, I, it's just such a foreign concept to me that that, that, could, that could be out there. I just, uh, I just wish people would get over it and move on. And, and if, they're, if they don't think that it's real, just move, watch somebody else. Like, you know, don't, leave them alone. Like, sure. um, it, they don't need you. They really don't. <laughs> and with that, everyone that we do need, all of our supporters. Yes, the good ones. <laughs> I think we're done. Wow. That was amazing, Liz. That was. My I, hands are all sweaty. I think we're going to get a lot of comments from people being like, More Liz. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you might need your own channel pretty soon. I might. I might. <laughs> what would I put on? Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love it by level. I could do Candy Crush <laughs> walkthroughs. <Yeah. laughs> you could stream as you play. <laughs> Tonight we're on level 9,400. <laughs> I've been on it for six days. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That was nice amazing. Job, that was Mom. so good. I don't think this was my good side. I think we need to reach oh, out. Oh Switch sides. No, I think I'm better Sorry, on that side. It's too long. <laughs>